first of all, thanks everyone for uh, sticking around. I know it's been a, been a long day and you've seen uh, lots of sort of interesting things. Um, my name is Nick and that's James and we are the founders of the, of the Green Age. And before we talk about uh, what the Green Age does, uh, James is going to set the scene about some of the challenges facing the energy sector in the UK. Hi everyone. Um, so uh, in the UK at the moment, uh, the energy sector is going through a real transition. Um, in the coming years, in 2015, uh, many of our uh, coal power plants are going offline due to an EU directive, an environmental directive. And at the end of 2019, <coughs> many of our nuclear power plants are reaching the end of their life cycle. So this means that supply is um, going to decrease and uh, we are, demand is going to stay roughly where it is. And so then at the moment we have a fair amount of headroom between supply and demand. But as time goes on, and in five years time potentially, uh, there's going to be a point where there is no headroom and so demand may actually be higher than supply, which could potentially lead to blackouts. Um, <coughs> so, we have, unfortunately, no succession plan in the UK at the moment in terms of building new power stations. Um, so a nuclear power station may take 12 years to build, so if we started now, it will be ready in 2020, 2023 potentially. Um, and so the only real way to, to fix this issue at the moment is to decrease the demand of energy, and that is through energy efficiency. Um, and taking it down to a, a consumer level, uh, we, with, due to this uh, decreased supply, the prices of energy are actually increasing. And so consumers are having to pay more for the energy they get. So at the end of last year, all of the big six energy companies in the UK put up their prices by an average 8%. Um, and so this is pushing more and more people into energy poverty. Um, so energy poverty is when you pay, have to pay 10% or more of your income just to keep your house at a comfortable level of warmth. And at the end of 2012, the level is about 4 million. And in 2015, we're predicting to be closer to 5 million. So obviously, if we can use energy efficiency here, energy efficiency measures in the home, that will help people, it'll take them potentially out of energy poverty, but it'll also save people a lot of money. So I'm going to hand over to Nick, and he's going to talk to you a little bit about how the Green Age is trying to achieve just that. Uh, thanks, James. So the Green Age is uh, an environmental hub that has uh, three simple aims. One is to increase the energy efficiency of uh, UK homes. Uh, two is to um, provide information on uh, renewable solutions so homes can become more um, uh, self self dependent and uh, can decrease their reliance on the grid. And three, provide a mechanism on how homes can uh, reduce the carbon footprint and help the environment. Now, if we just sort of rewind a little bit and, and address what James talked about, energy efficiency, it's um, it's worth pointing out that in the UK at the moment, it's a, it's a very um, under, underplayed uh, challenge. And at the Green Age, one of our aims is to obviously make that important and, and, and bring it bring it forward to homes and homes and businesses. So how are we going to address some of the challenges of uh, lack of energy efficiency and, and solve some of these issues? So, so the Green Age, so first of all, if you're a, a consumer and you want to increase the energy efficiency of your, of your property and want to do it as a do-it-yourself do job, you can go on onto our website and use our interactive information, have a look at our interactive photos and do-it-yourself videos and then install the measures yourself. Or you can go onto our directory, so it doesn't matter if you're in Edinburgh or in Wales or in South England, we will tell you the, the local suppliers who will come round and fit the measures for your property. And thirdly, uh, the government has just launched an initiative called the Green Deal. So what the Green Deal is, it's, um, it's, it's aimed at improving the energy efficiency of, of all UK homes. And, and we're actually pleased to announce that um, the Green Age, by aligning ourselves to the Green Deal, we now offer a consultancy service. So we will send out qualified consultants who will go around to people's homes and advise them on their energy habits and, and tell them how to make their homes more, more energy efficient. That will obviously lead to, to lower energy bills and, and hopefully also some of the issues about energy poverty stop those things from, from happening and, and obviously people have more money in their pockets because uh, that's what people want, want these days. So, um, but we realise it's not, it's not all about, um, so not all homes can get uh, energy efficiency measures because, you know, they, they don't own their own homes, so, so what do they do? 
And, and I think the Green Age, we, we're, we're more about that. We're more, we, we have other things that play to our environmental and sustainable conventions. So for example, four weeks ago, we launched the uh, carbon offset shop. And that is uh, for any UK consumer uh, wanting to go onto our website. So they basically go onto our website, find their favorite uh, stores. So for example, like uh, Amazon or Tesco or British Airways or Lufthansa. Shop in, those, shop in those stores as normal, and uh, for every two pounds uh, a consumer spends in our carbon offset shop, uh, we will plant trees in the uh, developing world. And that obviously, um, you know, it's a universal service, it includes everyone, and uh, people can reduce the carbon footprint and uh, help the environment. We'll sell energy efficiency measures so people can actually uh, go, go onto our website and, and buy these things and fit them in their homes. And within six to 12 months, we are wanting, we're going to expand our proposition from consumers uh, to business as well. And when this model is proven to work in the UK, we obviously want to take it to all, all parts of the world. So I hope that's made sense. So if you've got uh, any questions or just want to have a chat, uh, we're over there in, uh, in the hall. So please, please come and join us. And uh, you know, we'd like to sort of obviously discuss more. So thanks for being patient and, and being here. And uh, thank you all. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.